In a world where more than six billion people will be connecting to the world wide web from mobile devices, one book dares to ask the eternal question, to app or not to app? Yes, iPhone and iPad, web design for dummies is the... <coughs> Sorry about that. It's just that we get really excited about the mobile internet. We're total geeks. We totally are. I'm Janine Warner. And I'm Dave LaFontaine. And together, we wrote Mobile Web Design for Dummies. And iPhone and iPad Web Design for Dummies. This video is about helping you appreciate the difference and why iPhone and iPad Web Design for Dummies is about the latest, most cutting edge websites you can create for the hottest platform on the market. For our first tip, we're going to answer that eternal question. To app or not to app? When is it worth creating a native app, the kind you have to download from the iTunes store, versus when is it worth creating a mobile website or web app? We all know the iTunes store is popular, and there's an app for, well, just about everything. But if you create an app for the iTunes store, you need another one for the Android stores, and another one for Blackberry, and another for Windows. How many apps do you need? If you create a web app, you only need one. And you know what the most popular app is. Safari! That's right. The Safari web browser comes installed on every iPad and iPhone, making it easy to surf the mobile web right out of the box. You can create mobile websites for Safari that are increasingly interactive and app-like, such as Flickr. If money is no object, by all means, create both a native app and a web app, the way companies like American Airlines have. But many smart companies, like Ford Motors, have found that creating one interactive mobile website is a cost-effective way to reach the broader mobile audience. In iPhone and iPad Web Design for Dummies, we show you how to create optimized mobile websites. 